Peace and blessings, Facebook. Hey, everybody. How's everybody doing? I am Cindy G of the Cindy G Project. And I'm here live for just a little bit tonight. As you can see, well, I'll just wait until a few people jump on. I'm going to find some music here. I want some music. Oh, boy. Oh, and I've only got about 10 minutes, so I just wanted to hang out with my people. Hey, everybody. Let me know you're out there. Say who you are. Shoot me a um, a little quick hello because I want to say hello to you. I want to thank you for being here. Let's see. What's on Pandora? What kind of mood am I in? Just grateful. Pandora. What's up, brother? Donald Cyprian. Hey, Donald. <laughs> hey, Donald. I bet you um, next time you're going to listen and see what it is that your wife wants when she calls you, right? I love your video, by the way. I love y'all so much. Hey, Jason Randalls. How are you? Hi, Karen Lewis. Hi there. Yes. There. Hey, Gerald. What's up, twin? Classmate. Mm -hmm, mm -mm, mm. Donald, I'm glad you're on here. I'm so glad you're watching. Y'all, y'all. <laughs> oh, I can't wait to see what the baby shower is going to be like. Uh, congratulations to you and my sister on your forthcoming baby girl. That is so amazing. You, you get, you get it. Y'all get so much of what y'all asked for. I'm just so happy for you guys. Let's see. Maria Moldar, what kind of mood am I in? I'm obviously not in the mood to match. I do know that. I didn't even realize, like, this is how I dress when I'm home. Um, Donald says, yes, I'm so excited. I am excited, too. Hey, George Piggy, my classmate. Yes, Donald, I am excited. When you when y'all popped that balloon and all those pink confetti came out of there, oh, my gosh. That video went absolutely viral. Oh, my God. Have y'all gotten any phone calls yet? I'm talking to my brother, Donald Cyprian, y'all. Um, that's it, Just go to his page. Find him on Facebook. Listen to his talks. His live talks are amazing. They are filled with spirit, filled with faith. And uh, yes, that, yes, if you are looking to ignite your spiritual journey, you know, that's a that's a brother that I endorse a thousand percent. And I know that instant Christ is going to be an absolute smash. OK, it's going to help a lot, a lot of people. So big, big, big shout out to you and my girl Seneca. Hey, Stacia, my other sister is on here now. Stacia Driver. Hello, fam. Thank you all for watching. So um, my mood, I, I'm just I'm feeling very very, very grateful, but I got to find the right music here. Hmm. Hello, Beverly. Thank you for joining. Etta James. I clicked on Inspirational Soul. I've got some Etta James. We got to think about that. At last. Well, maybe that's kind of fitting. It's not upbeat, but... My love has come and gone. No, not so much. How about some earth, wind, and fire? Yes, yes. <laughs> Shining star. Okay, we can do that. I really and truly just wanted to come out and hang out with y'all tonight and just to share a word of encouragement, a word of of. of inspiration when you wish upon a star they say it the best the dreams will take you very far when you wish upon a dream listen y'all thank you brother <laughs> the girl can say hey shine a star no matter who you are, 
Shining bright to see what you could truly be. Ooh, Earth, Wind, and Fire. That, that was the perfect song for my mood right now. Because you can be whatever you choose to be. You are a shining star. Oh my gosh. Yes, Beverly says she's feeling it. This is just one of those nights when you just, you just take yourself into a zone, right? You take yourself into a zone and inspire yourself. Sometimes you have to do that. Music helps with that a lot. That's why I'm going back in the studio to record my, to record more music. Yes. Hello, Coretta King Jackson. How you doing, lady? One of my classmates. We're jamming some Earth, Wind, and Fire right now. Shining Star. Water. Just water. Thank you, Donald. Donald says I should. Yes, I'm definitely, definitely going back. Um, in fact, I already got five songs done, and... So, shh, shh, don't tell anybody yet. It's a secret. I'm going to drop it like Beyonce did. Just nobody's going to know. <laughs> oh, I'm just going to have some fun with it. You're a shining star, no matter who you are. What you can truly be. Yes. No matter who you are. So, be grateful. Be grateful. Shining stars for you to see what your life could truly be. Shining stars for you to see what your life can truly be. Let me get on key. You to see what your life can truly be. All right, that's perfect. That was a perfect, perfect warm up. I've got five minutes before I've got to go jump on my um, my other live stream. And hey, Mike King. Mike King says you're awesome. No, brother, you're awesome. You are awesome, and that's what this video is about today. That's what this talk is about. Very short, very brief, very to the point, full of my heart, you know, my love for each and every one of you that take some time out of every single day and just be grateful. Just be grateful and share your gratitude in the way that you operate and show up every day. However you show up every day is what you're going to exemplify in the universe. And so what do you want to put out there? Hey, Lawrence, love you, auntie, love you more. Hey, Avery's Nana. Hey, my, my fam on here. Thank you so much for watching. So what I'm saying is what are you putting out because what you put out there can definitely bring you back lots and lots and lots of gratitude because you are so full of your hopes and your dreams. And when you when you do the work in this life, your life and the universe is rigged in your favor. So it is going to open up the windows of heaven and pour you out all types of blessings that you don't have room to receive. Y'all better, Donald, Donald Cyprian, Minister, Don, Minister Cyprian, you out there? You know what I'm talking about. Never seen another couple to get everything they ask for <laughs> because they do the work. People uh, in this life, <sighs> hey, Jason, hey, big, he said, hey, big cuz, hey, little cousin, that glad you're watching. I know I owe you a package. I haven't forgotten about you. I promise them. Got some, went through a couple of changes. And uh, some products got changed, different formula. So I got you. In fact, I've got a box that I need to send out to you um, this week, which is tomorrow. I need to get it out there. Avery's Nana says, Cindy, I'm so proud of you. Thank you, dear. It's just, you know what? You, you know me from Chestnut Street, uh, from Union Street, from Fair Plain. From, so um, you've watched... You, you know, people that know you from the time that you were a child, and they've seen you grow up and evolve. They know that it's, an, it's been an ebb and flow because they know the things that you went through in your hometown. They see, you know, they may see some things on social media, what you've gone through as an adult. But listen, life is an ebb and flow. There are peaks and valleys. 
And all I want to do tonight is encourage each and every one of you to experience, you know, take the experience and live in the experience, right? Live in the experience. And that means, you know, embracing every, absolutely every experience, embracing absolutely every experience. If it's a love relationship between you and a, a, a opposite, a, you know, a love relationship, man and woman, and that relationship does not last or it, for whatever reason, it's over, it ends for whatever reason, count it all joy, count it a blessing that you got an opportunity to experience that person. That person is a blessing because they are, uh, they are created by God. So whatever people bring into our lives, I think one thing that one thing that we for, tend to forget, and I'm guilty, I've been guilty of this too. We forget that people come into our lives for reasons and seasons, right? And so sometimes those, uh, our, our thoughts and our emotions can get caught up in situations that, you know, may not be designed or intended for what we thought they were. And so we end up feeling hurt and things like that. Uh, and it's okay because you're experiencing life, right? I would, and I would encourage you to look deeper than what you might think the relationship or that person crossing your path was really intended for. I would be ready to do something with you to make this world better. That's what Avery's Nana says. Thank you. Hey, Talicia. Talisa Parsons from Benton Harbor, my homie. Thanks for joining. So, um, hmm. Gratitude. I am just in a mood, just very grateful uh, for all experiences, the good, the bad, um, because, you know, what doesn't kill you makes you stronger, right? Yeah, it absolutely does. Yeah, you don't have to think twice about that. And so... Um, be grateful every day, every day, be grateful for your mind, your vision, your ability to hear, to taste, to walk. If you can't walk to sit up and, and roll, thank God, you know, thank spirit, thank the universe, thank whatever you, however you frame it, thank the source, you know. Uh, the mighty God is is with you. He's with all of us. And it's up to us to accept it or not and to be grateful and to accept every every situation in life. Um, take it. Take it all in. Take it all in. It's a, I mean, you know, we should always be pushing forward. We should always be, you know, striving to be striving and thriving. Um, and this brings me to a quick point. I'm a part of an amazing group uh, of women uh, called, you know, self-made woman, and it's an empowerment group and it's an alliance and you can find it selfmadewoman.com. You can get more information there. But one of the keynote speakers at our last event in, uh, in Arizona, Tucson, Arizona, a couple of weeks ago, amazing event, by the way, she has coined the term Sir Thriver. So big shout out to Kelly uh, Locatelli. It's actually her birthday today, Kelly Locatelli. Sir Thriver, Survivor Thriver. That is so, oh my God, that just blew my, blew my mind. I'm like, yes, that's what I am. I'm a Sir Thriver. Like I survived. Anybody out there ever survived something? Have you been through something? I don't know. Yeah, if you're here tonight, then yes, the answer is yes. And you, sir, thrived. You, it didn't take you out because you're still here and you're still thriving because you even have a little bit of motivation to jump on a video tonight that you knew was going to be talking about, you know, uh, gratitude. And so maybe you are grateful, and I hope so. I type into the comment section one or two things that you're grateful for today. Let's, let's talk it up. What are you grateful for today? I'm waiting on you. 
What are you grateful for today? You know, I think my other stream has started and I need to jump off. Anybody out there? Anybody out there grateful for something? Please type in the comment section what you are grateful for. I'm grateful for you. I'm grateful for health my family, uh, vision. I'm grateful for the ability to share my story with others. Ryan Mitchell, my brother just showed up. Hey, bro, how are you? Nobody is grateful for anything. Nobody's typing what they're grateful for. Not one thing. I know if some people are watching now. Seriously? Nobody's grateful? Oh, my gosh. I feel bad about that. Mm. feel kind of bad about that but listen folks I have enjoyed spending a little bit of time with you tonight and um, I, I've i got to jump off because I've got to go and join in on another live stream right now so thank you for watching thank you for those that are watching the replay thank you so much um, please 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 and encourage someone to Hey, Ryan says you, you what? <laughs> oh, you're grateful for me. Oh, thank you, brother. Hey, listen, you know, we got about 40 years in, I don't know, over 40. I don't know when, how, how old were we when, when we met. Just like, uh, you know, super duper many, many years ago. All right. Type what you're thankful for. Have a blessed and abundantly blessed evening. I'm going to get off and get some work done. I'm working on some big, big projects that I'm excited about. Hey, encourage someone to go over and buy the book. Ladies, stop thinking, start shrinking. My 10 step guide to help you shrink your body and your fibroids fast. If you're suffering from any of those fibroids out there that most women do go through. A lot of us have challenged, have had challenges with that uh, dis-ease. So um, I want to share with you how I took myself on a natural healing journey, yay, and overcame all of that. Uh, birthday just passed on the 19th. Happy belated birthday, you the big five. Oh, hey, that's Vanessa. She's uh, Avery's Nana. So. Thank you for sharing. Happy belated birthday to you, my dear. All right. Well, with that, folks, thank you all again for joining in tonight. I am Cindy G of the Cindy G Project. You can find me on my Cindy G page on Facebook, Instagram, right here on right here in this live stream, which I will um, be back again tomorrow. And uh, hopefully we can pick up where we left off on gratitude. Maybe you'll be in the mood to post something by then. All right, guys. Thanks for joining. I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye-bye.